Hi everyone, I'm just popping in before this video officially starts because I just wanted to let you guys know that this vlog is like two vlogs put together um, and you will see in the next clip in a minute that I said that I might um, include these clips together but basically this is, the first half of this vlog is uh, footage that I shot at the end of June for a vlog and then I decided to include it in or with the footage that I did for my birthday vlog which was in July so just so you know I just wanted to include all of the footage from both months so I just let you know that that's what's happening this is a very like chatty fun vlog so I really hope you guys enjoy it I will probably do another clip as well kind of um, when the second half of the vlogs uh, starts just so you know like when that part is um, but yeah just popping in just to say that this is like footage from like two separate vlogs that I actually decided to merge so enjoy the vlog and I will chat to you guys later hello everyone it's Meg welcome back to a new reading vlog I'm starting this vlog with an unboxing and this is actually all the same book so basically uh, the other day from when I was filming this, it was the release for Laura Wood's uh, debut adult novel, Under Your Spell. And I was looking for special editions when it was first announced, I couldn't find it, so pre-ordered it on Waterstones. And then I saw that they had signed book plate editions uh, a couple of months later on um, Tea Leaves and Reads. And then, literally like a couple of weeks ago, Mr B's Emporium, which is a bookshop in Bath, announced that they were doing dedicated signed copies because they were doing an event with Laura um, on the day that her book released. So I, you know, I, I pre-ordered each one because I didn't realise that they were going to be like, you know, signed dedicated copies. So I'm not going to keep all of these books. I'm going to um, send the uh, Waterstones one. I'm going to return it because even though I love Laura and her books, I do not need three copies of the exact same book that aren't special editions. Um, so I think, yeah, we're going to see what happens. I'm going to keep the bo both the signed ones, because obviously I have my ARC as well, which isn't signed, but obviously not going to get rid of that. So yeah, I've been waiting for all of these to arrive just so then I can get my reaction to the final cover on camera. So that's what we're going to do. I won't open the Waterstones one um, right now because... I'm not going to do that but I'm going to open the tea leaves and reeds one because they always have really cute packaging um, and then we will do the surprise with the dedicated copy which would be super fun so I always love tea leaves and reeds by the way I've got my pre-order of like my special indie edition of blue sisters by Coco Mellas from there and love the packaging so let's open this and uh, see what it looks like inside Oh, they've got a bookmark in it. Oh, that's so cute. Love that. Every summer has a story. So they included, with my um, Blue Sisters pre-order, they did do a specific like Blue Sisters bookmark. But this is just the summer one. Um, so it says every summer has a story. It has like books and stuff. That is so cute. Love that. And then the book comes in like a lovely wrapping paper. So let's open it. I The cover isn't that much different from the ARC and I have seen pictures of it so I know what it's like but obviously it's exciting to see what it looks like in real life. Ooh, there we go. Oh, so gorgeous with the little metallic moments. It's got Clebby on the back. Ah, oh, so stunning. So this is the final copy of Under Your Spell um, by Laura Wood. There's some little like um, metallic kind of sparkly moments if you can see there's Theo on the front and it's Clemmy on the back as well so gorgeous and I love the spine look how beautiful that is and then let's have a look inside so there is a signed book plate um, in this edition as well hopefully you can see that I do have a vlog reading the arc of this book by the way so if you want to check it out and kind of hear my thoughts if you're not sure whether to get it, although I think you should get it even though you don't really know what it's about. I will leave it in the description down below. It's completely spoiler free, um, highly recommend and obviously, spoiler alert, I love this book so I think everybody should read it. Then we have the Mr B's one, so like I said they did do um, dedicated copies of this so I'm really excited because quite a few of my, oh that's not helpful, 
quite a few of my Laura Wood books aren't dedicated or signed um, and if they are they tend to be book plates instead I have bought book plates when Laura's had that opportunity um, to purchase them like I think she has done it before so let's see what this one looks like mm. oh it's so special like having a book like an author dedicate like a signed copy of a book to you just it's so special um like look at that to meg love laura wood so obviously i'm definitely keeping this book um oh that's so i wish i could have gone to the event but obviously i do not live near bath so that is not gonna happen and then i will just open my waterstones one waterstones copy so i have I have three book, three copies of this book. Like I said, I'm not going to keep all of these. I'm going to return the one from Waterstones and I'll see about my book, signed book plate one. I might sell it or I will give it away to somebody who I think will really enjoy it. Let me go and get my arc actually, then we can see them all together. So this is my arc. Um, it's very similar to this. It's got Theo's on the front um, and Theo's on the back in this one. And obviously this is all annotated. Um, and I love the spine more. I wasn't a fan of the spine on the arc, but there we go. Um, yes, like I said, was not meant to purchase all of these. It's just that when there are signed editions available, I have to buy them. Not more than one, obviously, but when there was a dedicated copy that I could, I could get, I could, I couldn't say no. You know, couldn't say no. So, like I said, I will return one of these and find a good home for my um, signed book plate one uh but yeah so happy love it's just so beautiful so stunning such like stunning stunning spines and i will quickly go over what this book is about in case you guys don't know we haven't gone and watched my vlog yet um but this book is about a main character called clemmy and her boyfriend has recently dumped her and she's about to lose her job and one night her and her sisters decide to cast a spell that they used to do when they were children and they are also um, the daughters of a very unruly, very famous um, rock star from like the 80s and one day Clemmy meets this guy at a funeral, has a one night stand with him and then afterwards she doesn't think she's ever going to see him again and then she ends up getting a job looking after one of the most famous rock stars in the world whilst he writes his new album or attempts to write his new album um, and I'm not going to tell you any more than that this is honestly, like I said, phenomenal read I'm going to shut up about it now but definitely recommend if you want like a, you know, a cool summer read definitely recommend this book so that's my little unboxing to start this video I just really wanted to like get my reaction of the final copy of this book on camera because it is such a wonderful book and yeah I've been very excited for it and was so so lucky and grateful to get an early copy. Now I will share with you what I'm currently reading so at the moment I am reading The Lobster by Holly McNeish which is like a collection of prose and poetry about different topics so basically about um, things that she's learning to love. So on the back it says a brand new collection brings a, her an intimate blend of poetry and prose to question all the warped and widely ways we have been taught to hate and if we might learn to love again. Like that sounds so stunning to me and I did buy this in book shopping in Manchester video so go and watch that if you have not already try and remember to leave it in the description. Um, but yes I am not very far into this I'm on page 92 uh, but I'm really enjoying it. I've never read anything by Holly before and I've been meaning to for the longest time and yeah I'm really enjoying it I'm really enjoying like her tone and her writing style um yeah she's just not afraid to kind of put anything out there you know she's just yeah I'm just really enjoying it don't have many thoughts so far but you know definitely enjoying it from what I've read so far so I was planning to do this as like a weekly vlog I'm not sure how that's going to go because I felt like I need a bit of a break from vlogs I mean I've hardly done any since I've like rejoined YouTube but the thing is I feel like I didn't enjoy my last vlog as much like filming it and kind of the outcome of it and obviously I'm not going to like really love every video that I put out um, that's just the way of anything creative um, but I want them to you know be filled with like you know fun things and obviously I did do just a fun thing like unboxing some books but I didn't know whether to just 
not vlog because I wanted to vlog that and I'm also going to a drag brunch which I know isn't bookish but I do want to film that um, I am going to a drag brunch uh, next end of next week so next weekend um, so I wanted to you know put that in a vlog as well so I don't know whether to make this like a vlog on its own or whether to tag it on to my vlog for my birthday because I'm going to do a birthday vlog which will be uh, I'll start filming in a couple of weeks from when I'm filming this clip um, in July so I'm not sure I think it depends on how much footage I get like I said I'm not forcing myself to like you know do much vlogging or anything like that I'm just gonna see how it goes like this clip is like nearly 12, 12 minutes long already um, so hopefully it'll be you know less than that by the time I've edited it but yeah I don't know I just don't want to like over f like you know force myself to like film when I don't want to um, because that takes the joy out of it and I want to keep the joy going because booktube is bringing me so much joy and um, and it brings me so much joy seeing you guys enjoy my videos now that I'm being a bit more consistent which is obviously wonderful but yeah so that's my little rant I like I said I don't know whether this is going to be a vlog on its own or I'm going to join um, the clips over like the next like few weeks on to my birthday vlog we will see it might just end up being a really long vlog um, but I'm not going to force it I'm going to you know film when I want to um, maybe make this a bit of a shorter vlog maybe that'll be quite um, you know a better idea instead so that's my little ramble um, and kind of like I said my headspace about where this vlog is at so I've been home from work for maybe about an hour just over an hour now so I'm going to cook tea I've got the house to myself tonight so I'm going to finish um, off a thumbnail and details for a video that's going to go up tomorrow on Sunday and then I think I'm going to chill um, maybe watch something read there's always so much I want to do in the evenings and I never have enough time but yeah I'm definitely gonna go and make some tea now I think I might have some like my bright bang bang cauliflower but yeah so welcome to this vlog hope you guys enjoy it um whatever it ends up being like I said um I hope you're all having a good day a good week and if you're not I hope I'm sending you my love and I hope that it'll be better for you um I hope tomorrow will be better for you. Okay, I'm gonna stop rambling now and we're gonna go and get on with the rest of the vlog. It's a couple of days later and I've just got home from work. Um, and I've come home to work for quite a bit of mail and, or post, I guess. And I don't usually come home to this much post. Um, I just don't tend to buy things, but apparently all this has come at once. And I just thought I would open it. Not all of it's bookish, but I thought I would show you anyway because it is quite fun. Um, and this middle package in particular is very very exciting so I just thought I would you know unbox it on camera and I also got some more book mail the other day so I'll just quickly show you what that is which is Making It by Laura Kay this is Laura's new novel and it comes out on the 4th of July and I think I'm filming this clip on the 28th of June so it'll be out by the time this video is up and I've read a couple of books by Laura before really enjoyed them this book in particular sounds great so I um spent a couple of minutes recording and I didn't realize that I actually wasn't recording I have just unboxed the first package that I got which is um a single vinyl for Good Luck Babe by Chapel Roan. Um, I pre-ordered this, like I said in my non-recorded version. Um, I pre-ordered this ages ago because uh, it sold out and then it came back in stock so I managed to get it and I'm very excited. I discovered Chapel Roan at the end of last year, at the end of 2023 in maybe like November, December time and I'm absolutely obsessed with her. I love her music, she's such an icon and I'm very excited to have this and hopefully play it on a future record player that I may be getting for my birthday, watch this space. It also has on the other side a demo of a new song called Read and Make Out. So I'm very excited to hear that. I will definitely, you know, have to listen to this soon. My dad does have a record player downstairs but I feel like playing it on my own will just be even better. And then let's unbox my second parcel. So this is the bookish one. This is another pre-order which comes out on the same day as Laura Kay's novel which is 4th of July. This book is just coming out, coming just under a week early. And oh, this is so exciting. 
my god, I love the colours. It's like slightly floppy. Oh, there she is on the back. So this book is The Dating Equation by Emily Merrill. Some of you guys may know Em. I know her from Booktube um, and we've known each other for a good couple of years now. And she has come out with her third book and her second adult novel, The Dating Equation, which is a rom-com. Look, I feel like that's such an M colour. Like the bright colours and just the illustrations. What a gorgeous spine. Um, yeah, I'm so excited. I'm so happy for her. Look, there's M on the back, if you can see. Her little, you know, pro author photo. I'm so excited. I... I'm going to read this when I'm on holiday at the end of July and I cannot wait. It feels like the perfect book. Um, so I, let me tell you guys what it's about by reading the blurb. 26 year old Penny Webber has never had a boyfriend, but she's about to launch a refreshing new dating app with her best friend Rory. What could possibly go wrong? As soon as Level launches, it's an immediate hit. So when faced with an office bet, Penny's determined to prove a point and hits download on her very own app. Juggling wedding planning for her brother, supporting her flatmate through heartbreak and balancing work, Penny is sent down a rocky path of failed dates. As her partnership with Rory becomes more complicated, her faith in her ability to help others to find love falters. But what if Penny is wrong? What if, all this time, the solution is right where she least expects it. That sounds so much fun and N told me that there is lots of like cafes and like bake like bakeries in here. Um so that sounds so fun. So it's like a friends to lovers um moment. So yeah, I'm so excited. Congratulations M if you are watching this. Um I'm so excited to read this. I'm so happy for you. And I cannot wait for your next book because I know you are writing it and I cannot wait to hear all about it. So that was very exciting. And now onto our last box, which is a bird and bent blend box. It's so exciting. And I'm too lazy to go and get my scissors. So we're doing the classic like stabbing it with a pen moment. I hope this works. Oh my God, it works. I do love that packaging. It says, hello, is it brew you're looking for? Have a beautiful day. So fun. Oh, I love how personal it is. I got um my I got a match advent calendar from them last year and I love how personal it is. They just did like a little like handwritten note for me. You might not be able to see that very well. Um, and they always include freebies. And I'm so excited for freebies. So they gave me some tea bags. So I have a strawberry lemonade tea bag. Fun. And then I have a morning kick tea bag here as well. So this one is a yer yerba mate tea with lemon and ginger. So that sounds quite interesting uh, and I do like lemon and ginger tea so I will definitely try that and I think this one is actually what I already have ordered um, but in tea bag form. Uh, so I'm very excited to try that. But basically, I am an iced tea girly. I do love iced tea, especially when it's been hot. I mean, it's been hot for like a week here in the UK and now it's gone back to not being hot and being very windy and wet. But I like iced tea and sometimes, you, even as much as I like hot tea, you want something cold. And like I said, I've been trying to master making tea like iced tea and I'm still working on it so I thought in the meantime I would basically buy myself some iced tea and Bird and Blend have been doing cold brew tea so I just thought I would try it so I've got a bottle which basically you brew the tea and it has a filter in it so you don't have to like strain it yourself and then I got two lots of tea so the first one that I got is Strawberry Lemonade, uh, which sounds amazing. This is probably their most popular one, I think. Um, and then I got Peach Soda, which I am very excited about because I love peach iced tea, like peach or mango iced tea in particular. Um, so I'm very excited. I just got the two sachets first just to see if I like them or not, and I can always get them. But let's just open this bottle and see what it looks like. So this is the bottle that you put it in and it has a filter there so I think you connect it to the top here 
Um, and basically the idea is, like I said, you put your tea in, I think you could put water or you could put lemonade in it even. That sounds like a really good idea. Um, and you brew it for like a couple of hours in this bottle. Um, and I just thought that was so fun. So yeah, I got my little tea moment. I will let you guys know if I like it, what I think, because I know a lot of you do drink tea. Um, and obviously it's nice to have like a cold like tea option in the summer, especially if it's something that you don't want milk with. So yeah, that was my like little unboxing moment. I hope you guys enjoyed that. I just wanted to film it, thought it would be fun. Um, I will give you a little update on my reading just whilst I'm here. So I am on page 162 of Lobster by Holly McNeish but still very much enjoying it. Um, I don't really have much more to say to that to be honest with you. There's lots of topics that Holly has touched so far. She has touched hashtag not all, so hashtag not all, you know, men um, and other things like that. Um, she's talked about um, like class. Uh, she's some, she went to Cambridge University and her experience there being from more of like a uh, middle class background. Now I'm on the next section and I can't remember what that's about, but basically, I am very much enjoying this. I will try and have more thoughts next time I update you on it. Um, but yeah, so that is my my unhaul, my little reading update. Hope you enjoyed it. Uh, I'm going to go and put all of this stuff away now. And then I'm going to have a shower because your girly needs to get ready for this brunch moment. The drag brunch that I'm going to on Sunday um, because I've got a barbecue tomorrow night. So I'm being very social this weekend, which is very unlike me. So hopefully I'll talk to you guys on Sunday at some point. Um, yeah, and I will take you um, on my day out when I go to York for a brunch. <laughs> That was the first half of the vlog, the footage that I did in June and now the rest of the vlog is footage that I filmed during the week of my birthday which was in July. I'm sure you guys can already tell what this vlog is by the title um, but this is my birthday vlog and I have done these quite a few times before, you can go back on my channel try and find them. I obviously have had a bit of a break from YouTube last year and didn't film one but I'm going to film one this week, this year, and I'm so excited. These are always some of my favourite videos to film. And it's just a nice way to like document my birthday and the th fun things that I do, because I do love to celebrate my birthday um, and just do lots of little like nice things, you know? So that's what this vlog is. Um, and yeah, obviously I'm going to be doing some reading. Um, so I've literally stopped all of my reading plans currently to read this book and generally if you have watched my previous uh, birthday vlogs you will probably know the author who I'm going to be reading uh, and that is Laura Wood so I'm going to be rereading Under a Dancing Star by Laura Wood this is going to be my third reread and obviously you guys know I love her and I am going to be this book is already annotated but I'm going to be annotating it for the first time in pen so I feel like that's just like a fun special experience and I just like to have like a comfort read and I feel like we need this kind of book or I need this kind of book right now because even though it has is actually a nice day to date when I'm filming this the weather this summer in the UK has been appalling it has not been summer it's just been very wet um, and rainy and windy and just not fun basically and this is set in summer in Italy uh, in the 1930s so it is an absolute gem of a book uh, and I cannot wait to reread it, just have a good old time, you know? So those are my reading plans and today is Monday and my birthday is on Thursday. So I booked Thursday off and I've actually booked Saturday off as well, um, which is quite nice. So I'm only in work for three days and very much looking forward to it. So it's the afternoon now and I've just got back because I have been out and I have gone and bought myself a record player for my birthday and I've wanted one for the longest time um, and I finally decided to go for it so 
that will be arriving on Wednesday so obviously you guys can set up with me and we can listen to whichever vinyl I choose because I have bought a couple already and I think I might be getting another one for my birthday which is super fun. So I've got that excitement to look forward to and hopefully on my actual birthday I'm going to be going into Manchester with my friends just for the day, just for like a good old fashioned like have lunch and wander around Manchester like we used to do when we were at uni. Yeah, I'm gonna see what else I have for the rest of the week. But today I am going to be baking my birthday cake and I did this last year, obviously didn't film it, um, because I'm not a massive cake person but I like to make a cake because I can make it however I want it, whatever flavour. And then I just share, you know, the cake with everybody. I just give it away to like my colleagues and my friends and my family and stuff. So yeah, that's basically the plan. So I'm gonna go and just get changed now um, and then I'm gonna bake this cake because it's gonna take a while to sort it out. Um, and I'm basically, my plan is to do a two take cake, which is what I did last year. And I'm gonna do the bottom layer, it's going to be uh, red velvet and the top layer is gonna be matcha because I've never made a matcha cake before. And I've always wanted to bake with matcha because I really like matcha. So that's what's going to happen and we're going to see obviously whether we like it or not. So I will take you guys along with the process of making my birthday cake. So welcome to this vlog. I hope you guys enjoy it. I am really looking forward to it. Um, and let's hope that it is filled with lovely, like nice things. And I hope that this is like just like a nice little escape vlog for you. I really hope you guys enjoyed this vlog and without further ado let's go and make my birthday cake. <laughs> So it is now Thursday and it is my birthday, it's actually the evening now. I wanted to update this vlog in the morning but I didn't have time because I had to finish making my birthday cake, I had to finish decorating it because I started making it on Monday, you guys will see some clips, um, but I really ended up finished decorating it today and I didn't film any of the decorating part but hopefully I will have like an overall like finished cake clip um, when I edit this video. Uh, you guys will have seen that. So um, yeah, I made my cake. I did red velvet. It was going to be two layers stacked on top of one each other, but I could not be bothered um, with doing that. So I ended up just leaving them as two separate cakes. So I have a red velvet one and a matcha cake. I'm very excited to try both. And obviously 
as always, I'm not a massive cake eater, in case you guys didn't know. And also, if you didn't know, I do make cakes as part of my job. I am a baker. Um, so I like to bake cakes, but I don't often like to eat them. So I made big cakes so then I can like share it with a load of people, which will be really nice. So I will take some into work tomorrow. So yeah, that's what I did. And then I went into Manchester with my friends, which I should have got. I think I only got a couple of clips of that, but we went in and we went for lunch. We went to somewhere called, it's Mackey's something. I can't quite remember. It's in the Northern Quarter. It's like a uh, like a big a big building with like food, loads of food vendors around the edge and there's like loads of tables in the middle and you kind of get whatever you want from all the different food places so I had some ramen which was really nice and I also had some cauliflower tacos which were lovely quite spicy but really nice so definitely recommend going there if you want like a foodie place if you're in Manchester at all and then we just had a wander around I will do a tiny bit of a haul um in a second but we went around the Arndale to get some bits that I needed. And then we went to Affleck, as always, love going to Affleck. And I bought something really nice from there, which I will show you guys in a minute. And then we went to Chinatown because I've always wanted to go to Chinatown. So we just had a little wander around. I got some bubble tea. And then I went to yoga um, when we got back. So we've literally just got back from yoga now. So without further ado, let me do this tiny haul. It's not like super exciting. My friends got me a, a joint present but um, they didn't have it with them so they'll give me it another time which is absolutely fine. So a few things that they did get me. Uh, one of my friends got me a few other bits as well so she got me a mug which I'll probably make a cup of tea in maybe tonight or some time later. Um, it's black and it has a disco ball on it. It says groovy time or something like that. Um, very much me. And then I also got one of these which I know you can get in TK Maxx quite a lot. So it's a like little notebook and it's got Yas Queen on and it has Freddy. Uh, and if you guys didn't know, I love Queen. They're my favourite band. So I love this. And then I got a few bits from the body shop because I need some makeup remover. And unfortunately, they have shut all of their um, body shop um, shops. Uh, kind of like all the local ones near me, the only ones that are near me are the Manchester ones so I just got some makeup remover which is the chamomile one, really love this, um, does a great job and I also bought the body butters which have gone up in price from what I can remember quite immensely but I need some moisturiser because uh, I have dry skin and the coconut one specifically is a very nostalgic smell for me like it just, it, it's just like the epitome of summer, the coconut smell for me, so I just had to get it. And then I went into Lush um, because I love having baths, I love Lush, and I haven't got anything from them for a while. So I only got three things, so I got like an orange um, bath bomb, it looks like this, it smells like oranges. Oranges is one of my favourite scents. And then I got a bubble bar, I went for a different one, I usually go for the bright side one which is like orange as well, but I went for Sleepy which is a cloud and it smells like lavender and I love lavender and I have had stuff from the Sleepy range before and I really enjoyed it. And then I got another bath bomb, I can't remember what it's called but it is rainbow and I saw it and I was like absolutely yes please. And then the last thing that I got which I got from Affleck and I debated it and went back for it. Um, there is a really nice print shop. There's a couple of really nice print shops in Affleck at the moment, actually. And one of them does those of ones from like old folk covers, um, old like movies, film stars, and films and stuff. And they have quite a lot of Studio Ghibli ones. And they had this um, poster. And like I said, I, I saw it, thought about it, and then I ended up going back to go and buy it because they have really good prices and they also have tote bags as well. Um, but this film doesn't have a lot of merch, and I thought I just have to get it. And it was a really good price. So this is a poster for this Studio Ghibli film only yesterday. Um, and I really love it. I don't know where I'm going to put it, but I love it. And I will have included some clips um, of me watching this film um, kind of before this talking clip now because I have watched it three times in the past four days. Might be kind of bad that, um, don't know whether that is like a crisis moment. I watched only yesterday for the first time last year and I thought it was okay but I decided to re-watch it last week and I it hit me like a ton of bricks um, because it's just aimed more at adults, not necessarily because it's adult content but 
just it is about somebody who's a bit older who's 27 and obviously I'm 28 now um but yeah somebody who's like a similar age to me um and it's like a dual timeline honestly go and watch it if you have not already I feel like a lot of the people who um watch my content are kind of a similar age to me kind of like mid to like late 20s um I highly recommend going and watching it it's a really beautiful film and I, I completely got it um, when I rewatched it the other day. So I have been obsessed with just rewatching it. Um, and I also rewatched Whisper of the Heart as well, which is one of my other favourite Studio Ghibli films. But yeah, I love this and I don't know what I'm going to do with it. I'm going to keep it in the packaging for the time being um, and try and find somewhere to put it. So yeah, that's my little haul. And I guess to add to the haul, I have got this t-shirt. I ne didn't get a time to do like an outfit moment with you guys. Um, I'm wearing my leggings now, but I got this uh, Pink Pony Club t-shirt, which is a Chapel Run uh, t-shirt. I got it from Redbubble, and I've wanted a Chapel Run t-shirt for ages. Um, so I finally got one, just says Pink Pony Club on it, uh, Midwest Princess. Uh, absolutely love it. And I might as well give you guys a reading update. I haven't done loads of reading, but I have, I am like ready to storm into this book. So, Under a Dancing Star by Laura Wood. I am on page 83 and I am so ready I, to like fall into like the dreamy summery vibes of this book. I'm at the point now where B has arrived at in Italy. If you didn't know, this book is about our main character B. It's set in 1930 and she ends up causing a bit of havoc at home so her parents send her away to go and stay with her uncle in Italy thinking that she will you know get uh, be brought down to earth a little bit um, however her uncle ends up being the total opposite and she gets to do whatever she wants over the summer in Italy and there's a lot of artists that also stay at this villa where her uncle lives um, one of which is called Ben and this is a much to do about nothing prequel and I've never um, seen the play or read much ado about nothing um, but obviously if you like Shakespeare maybe give this a read um, and basically her and Ben make a deal um, to a challenge of having the perfect summer romance but not to fall in love um, and I love this book like I said this is my third reread so I'm just going back and like changing my annotations obviously going over the in pen uh, adding more annotations it's just an absolute joy and it's definitely the summer vibes that I need because it is definitely not summer like um, in the UK right now. So yeah, really enjoying this. Gonna read some more tonight because I'm gonna go and have a bath now. And then I will update you guys some point when I probably close out this vlog, maybe at the end of the week. Because I only have one day left in work. I booked the whole weekend off work and I'm really glad. I feel like I definitely need like a bit of a rest and like a bit of time to have a bit of brain space and just chill. I have been filming for several minutes and realised that I did not press record. Fun for me. So redoing that, I forgot to sh quickly show you guys the presents that my family got me um, and they're really lovely, very grateful. So again, going over this because I've already said it even though I didn't record it. Uh, my sister got me a Nintendo Switch case because I've needed one for ages um, and it does have a strap so it's kind of like a handbag so very fashionable, very fun and I might put some stickers on it that I got from Redbubble a while ago. And I bought myself a record player for my birthday and I think I told you guys that at the beginning of this vlog. Um, however, I did start setting it up and I did film some footage. I don't know if I'm gonna include that in like this bit before this talking clip now or not because I got halfway through setting it up yesterday and realized I had no idea what I was doing. So my dad is gonna help me finish setting it up and hopefully I will get some footage of me playing my first record on it um, which will be very exciting to put in this vlog but I have started buying a few records already and I did ask for a few for my birthday so I very kindly got one from my parents so it got Evermore by Taylor Swift um, and it's very gorgeous I I'm very excited to have this and it's a double album and I'm not going to get the, vi the actual vinyls out but they are green uh, which is super fun so very excited to listen to that and then I also got a book which is The Charm Offensive by Alison Cotron and I've wanted this book for ages I've wanted to read it for ages but for some reason every time I've gone into a bookshop they don't seem to have it which is a bit sad 
Um, so I finally got it, which is amazing. I read Alison's second novel, Over Christmas, called Kiss Her Once For Me, I think it's called. I uh, really enjoyed that, highly recommend. Um, and obviously I think this is her debut. So I've heard nothing but good things about it as well. So I'm really excited to read it. We'll probably take it on holiday with me next week. Um, I've got some really fun reads for when I go on holiday, so I'm very excited for that. That's just my like little like update, a little haul, birthday haul moment. Um, I've had a really nice day. Uh, it's just nice to kind of spend time with my friends and yeah, just celebrate being 28. Kind of wild, but 28 actually feels quite good. I think I hope it will be at any rate. Um, we shall see what happens. So I'm going to go and uh, take my makeup off and get ready for bed. I think I'm going to do some reading and I will probably update you guys when I end this vlog. So some point at the end of this week, but I am only work for one more day. So I'm going to go and sort myself out now and I will probably catch you guys in a bit. <laughs> Actually, a couple of weeks later and I have not done any outro uh, for this vlog so I am gonna do one now because I wanted to wait until I had finished reading Under a Dancing Star by Laura Wood and I have now finished it and um, I finished it like not maybe not on the week of my birthday maybe kind of like just the beginning of the week after um, but obviously like I said wanted to finish it to give my final thoughts I mean I have Probably, I don't think I've read this in a vlog before actually. I've read basically all of Laura's other books in vlogs but I haven't read this one. Um, and like I said at the beginning of this vlog, uh, this is my third reread and I have annotated in pen as well. I might have included uh, like a little flip through clip but I had such a fun time reading this book. Like this book is just like perfect summer vibes. You know, like being in a hot Italian summer in a villa with a load of artists. Like what more could you possibly want? And I love B. I I think she's such an incredible character and I love B and Ben. Um, and it's so wonderful and I can, I love their relationship. I love their banter, but I also love how much they respect each other for their um, like art that like obviously B respects Ben for his art and Ben respects B for her scientific knowledge and you know he's he doesn't kind of shun her or put her down for that he you know he is like genuinely interested and um you know supportive um of kind of her interest in science and how that is something that she wants to kind of play a main part in her future and seeing B's development of when she's arrives at the villa compared to when she leaves um it's just so beautiful um i will never be disappointed by a laura book and especially when i reread because this is one of my personal favorites of hers um it always has been it always will be um i'm so glad that i got to read it whilst i was celebrating my birthday and yeah i just had a really wonderful beautiful joyous time rereading this. I'm so glad that I did um, and I cannot wait for the times that I get to read it in the future um, because there is many many more times that I will revisit this book. I'm just really glad that I got to reread it. It definitely brought some joy into my life when I needed it. I can tell that I have not talked to a camera in a couple of weeks because I genuinely don't know what I'm saying.
And I also put my little library stamp on it as well, just to add to the collection, which is so fun. So yeah, just another chance to make it more personalised. And this is my most tab book of Laura's, I think. Uh, I did add a few couple of tabs and maybe changed a few of them, but um, yeah, this is how it's looking. So that is it for this vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I always love filming my birthday vlogs. They're just such a fun vlog to do and I love recording all of the things that I do on my birthday. Um, and yeah, it was just such a wonderful like time and I'm glad that I get to share it with you guys as well. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, I would really appreciate if you could give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you have not already. I will leave my social media, which includes my Instagram and Goodreads in the description below if you'd like to see more bookish content that you will not find on this channel. But thank you guys so much for watching, I appreciate you so, so much and I will see you again very soon. Bye guys!